So let's talk about how to globally change the width of a group of traces in Eagle instead of having to, say, get the info for each individual trace and change it there. That would get very tedious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the selection filter here. I'm going to click wire, and then I'm going to click top and bottom by holding down the shift key to get both of those. And now I'm going to get the group tool. You could type group, or you could use the little group tool icon over here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab everything, but you could, of course, grab a subset. And I found that I need to use a selection or the border here has its width changed as well. Anyway, this is tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type change width to whatever width I want it to be changed to. And here I'm going to go with six mils. Now, importantly, this is not what I actually want. Six mils is way too small for this kind of board. But I'm just doing a little demonstration here. Okay. Now, notice nothing happened. So if I left click on just one of these traces, I'll probably just wind up doing that trace. What I want to do is control click. And now I can do change group. And then I'll get the spinning pizza wheel of death. Oh, good grief. Okay, so I crashed Eagle apparently. I had to force quit it. Let's try this again. All right, I'm going to go with wire, top and bottom over here. Now let's do group. And now I can select everything. Oh, actually, I don't think I selected everything that time. Okay, here we go. Now let me do change width 15. What? Oh, wait a minute. What units am I currently in? Oh, okay. I'm currently, I'm not in mils. I'm in actual inches, I think. So let's try change width 0 0.015. It depends on what you have the grid set to. Set the grid here. Oh, let's change this to mil. Change that to mil. Okay, so now if everything's in mil, I should be able to do change width 15. Now, if I left that in inches, you would, of course, do this, or I guess maybe some people do this in millimeters. This is in whatever units you're set to. Okay, now I'm going to right-click by holding... Well, if I had a mouse, I would be... Standard mouse, I'll be right-clicking them on a Mac, so I will control-click with the trackpad. And now I'm going to say change group. And yay, it did it without actually hanging that time. Now let's see, if I were to clear out all the filters, do I actually have to click on the wire over here or can I just say top and bottom like this? Do I have to specify things up here? Let's try that again. Group. Okay, just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and reselect everything. And now let's do change width six. And now if I right click, change group, Earlier when I tried this, like this thing out here changed also. Now, the point I want to make here actually that I'm making kind of roundabout is that a six mil trace is way too small for a standard through hole board like this. I recommend using something like 30 or 32 mil for your power traces. I actually kind of prefer 30. I used to always use 32 just because it was twice 16, which is what I was using. Nowadays, I tend to use 15 mil and 30 mil, 30 mil for ground and power traces and 15 mil for signal traces. Um, beyond the 30 mil, having more current carrying capability or whatever, uh, it provides a nice visual marker to someone looking at the board that you have two different trace sizes that mean different things if they're working on debugging the board. But anyway, 6 mil is what Eagle nowadays defaults to, and it's way too small. So I've had some students turn in boards where everything was 6 mil. As a first way to fix that, let's try this trick again. Okay, so I've got the theme selected that I want, just the top and the bottom. I'm now going to group. I'm going to grab everything. And let's do change width 15. Let's see what happens if I just click on one trace. Ah, right. So... If I zoom in on this, you'll see that I increased that trace size, but nothing else. So 
let's go back and now if I type group, does it remember what I grouped? I guess it does. All right, so now let me do the change with 15. And this time I'm going to control click to make sure we don't just change one trace. So I'm actually going to change the entire group. All right, so now everything has gone from that horribly small, from six mil trace to 15 mil trace. <laughs> and then you can go in and grab individual traces to try to change this.